Hey, 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 Ryan. It's Richard Klein. Larry from Three's Company. Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. Where the kisses are hers and hers and his. Three's Company, too. I hear you're a big fan of the show. That's always nice to hear. Now, Michelle tells me you guys got a 14th anniversary coming up. Congratulations. Keep plugging. What's 14 years? That's I know like 10 years is uh, radioactive material. 14 could be like uh, those little Valentine hearts. 14, Valentine thing? Yeah, probably not. Anyway, congratulations. I hope you have a great time on your anniversary. Um, now, Michelle also tells me that you're a Yacht Rock fan. And you know what? I had to look it up. I didn't know what Yacht Rock was. I thought it was like music for very rich people. But apparently the number one voice of Yacht Rock is Christopher Cross. Sailing, take me away to where I'm going. I actually had a student um, who was a backup singer for Chris Cross. And we saw, we saw him in, uh, in L.A. many, many years ago at an outdoor uh, concert. And uh, it was fantastic. I got to meet him. A really cool dude. So Yacht Rock. Now I know what that is. It's him. It's guys like Peebo Bryson, Bob Marley. Uh, the Doobie Brothers are considered Yacht Rock. What would we do without Google? Hmm? Right. So... <laughs> So, uh, oh, uh, Michelle also told me that you took a shot of you in the sand in, I guess, Santa Monica, where in the opening credits of uh, Three's Company, Jack falls off his bicycle and lands in the sand. That is hilarious. That's very, very cool. You are a diehard fan. And by the way, you know, that girl that walks by him that causes him to fall off the uh, bike, it's a little known trivia fact, but um, that's Suzanne Summers in a uh, dark wig. Yeah, truth. Anyway, um, be curious to know what your favorite episode was. Uh, there's so many of them. You know, we did over 150 shows. <whistles> Unbelievable. Uh, my favorite episodes are A Camping We Will Go, The Impossible Dream, and I don't know the title of it, It's but the one where uh, I'm in the bushes singing and Jack is outside serenading uh, Arabella, I think her name is. Annabella, Arabella, oh no, Bernice, Bernice. Anyway, uh, it's kind of a takeoff on Cyrano de Bergerac and that was a hilarious episode to film. I think I'd have to go The Impossible Dream because I had a chance to sing even though I was singing like over the top, but um, that was a fun episode to do. <laughs> I remember when I walk into the kitchen and... Uh, and Jack and Mr. Furley go, Larry, you stink. <laughs> good times, good times. Well, oh, I also want to do a shout out to uh, your mom, Chris. Hi, Chris. Richard Klein, how are you? Oh, and also, uh, Michelle tells me that you're a hearing aid specialist for seniors. God bless you. I have Phonak hearing aids. I'm not wearing them now. Um, but I've, I've been wearing hearing aids for about, uh, I don't know, five years now. And uh, they surely are a, a, a great help, especially when I'm on stage. And uh, when I'm singing, really makes your, <laughs> makes your voice sound great. At least, at least in my ears, it sounds great, the way it amplifies it. All right, I'm going to shut up now. <clears throat> Thank you, Michelle, for getting in touch. Ryan, rock on. Have a great anniversary. Take care.